Hello YouTube, I'm Dr. Fox. Today, I'm going to talk about rubella and pregnancy. Rubella, also known as German measles, is a very contagious viral infection which can be dangerous to pregnant women and to their babies. It's passed through the air, for example, by people coughing or sneezing. As with a lot of infectious diseases, a lot of people get it without even realizing. Other people feel unwell, usually for about 3 days. It's a bit similar to having a mild dose of the flu. You might have a temperature, a headache, and a running nose. Your eyes might look red. Your glands can swell. You can feel an ache in your muscles and joints and you may also get a rash on your skin. Rubella is dangerous to pregnant women because if you have it, there is a higher chance that you will miscarry your baby or she will be stillborn or premature. Even if you go to term, there is a real danger that you could pass rubella on to the baby inside you, especially if you get the disease early in your pregnancy. If you get it during the first trimester, there's an 85% chance your baby will be infected. The chance drops to about 50% during the second trimester and 25% in the third trimester. If you think you have had rubella during your pregnancy, it's very important to you tell your doctor so they can start monitoring your baby as soon as possible. Okay, let's think about precautions. As with all diseases, the best precaution you can take is to be vaccinated. You only need to have the rubella vaccination once and you will be immune for the rest of your life. In a lot of countries, young children are routinely given the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine or MMR vaccine. However, even in these countries, these diseases can still be brought in by people coming from places where there aren't vaccination programs. You may have heard that the MMR vaccine causes autism and other problems, but there is absolutely no scientific evidence for this. If you don't know whether you are vaccinated when you are child or whether you have already had rubella, you can take a blood test which will tell you if you are immune. It's important to ask your doctor or antenatal nurse to carry out that test if you are planning to get pregnant. After you've had the MMR vaccination, you should wait for a certain period, two months in Japan before you start trying for a baby. If you are already pregnant, you shouldn't have the MMR vaccine. In this case, you must be very careful not to go near anyone who has the disease and if you have been near someone, tell your doctor as soon as possible. When you have had your baby, you must get the MMR vaccine. Remember, your baby isn't immune until she has her first vaccination at 12 months. So if you catch the disease darling this time, you can pass it on to her. Okay, thank you for watching. See you soon.